Hey, what's up? I'm Chris Wilmshurst, and today I wanted to talk about a couple of hard drives I've been using and the ways in which I use them with both my Mac and my iPad Pro. The two hard drives I'm talking about are the Electron Pro and the Envoy Pro FX drives from OWC. Now for complete transparency, these drives were sent to me for free. However, I'm under no obligation to give them a good review and realistically, these are just hard drives. If you wanted to do similar things to me or use the software I use with them, you could quite easily do it with any other branded external SSD, but they might not be as feature packed. So firstly, let's talk about the specs of each drive. The Electron Pro is marketed as the world's smallest IP67 dustproof and waterproof NVMe SSD drive. It has read and write speeds of up to 1011 megabits per second, and it's such a small drive. It's supplied with a USB-C cable which has a handy USB-A adapter attached. But there is one thing to note, and that if you use the USB-A adapter, your speeds will be pretty much cut in half. This is a limitation of USB-A transfer speeds and not the drive itself. The slightly larger Envoy Pro FX blows the Electron out of the water. This drive utilizes the Thunderbolt 3 interface, which in turn makes it compatible with Thunderbolt 4, and it can reach speeds of up to 2,800 megabits per second. To put that into perspective, that's almost as fast as the internal hard drive on my MacBook Pro, and that is crazy fast. The Envoy Pro is also IP67 certified, built like a tank, and like the Electron Pro, has a USB-A adapter on the Thunderbolt 3 cable. With the specs of these drives out of the way, why would you honestly buy these over any other drives? Well, if you're the type of person who likes to back up their work incredibly fast, you travel a lot, you work off your external drives, or you just require a bit of extra storage, they do all of those tasks really well. Take the Electron. The sheer size of it makes it a great portable backup drive for your iPad or your laptop. It's small enough and tough enough to quite literally throw into your bag, and the speeds allow you to back up your content in no time. I'm currently using this to store and edit all of my photos from my Lightroom catalog, and the small size really does make this a perfect external solution for the iPad Pro. The Envoy Pro, however, is in a league of its own. The sheer speeds of this makes it the most satisfying hard drive I've had the pleasure of using. You can literally transfer a 100 gig folder in less than a minute. The speeds also make it great for storing your video files and editing directly from it. As it uses Thunderbolt 3, it's fully compatible with all recent Apple computers and the 2021 iPad Pro. This means you'll never need to buy an overly expensive higher storage iPad option again, unless you're buying it for the increased RAM, of course. Oh, and it's backwards compatible with USB-C and USB-A of the same Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is really good. And if you're an iPad video editor using LumaFusion, both of these drives work fantastic with the latest version, which now has support for external drive editing. So what about the price? This is where you might turn around to me and say, you know what, Chris, they sound great and you had me with all the technical speak, but I'm not paying that. And honestly, I'm not gonna blame you. These two drives I have are both one terabyte and the smaller Electron costs $229 and the Envoy Pro, well, that costs $319. That's a lot of money for one terabyte of storage. In comparison, this Crucial X8, which is slightly faster than the Electron, only cost me £95. It's marketed as being 39 megabits per second faster, but it does lack the IP67 protection. It's larger and it does run very warm. Then if I take into the account that I can purchase a 2TB X8 for the price of one 1TB Electron, it starts to become a far better deal. Now on the other hand, the Envoy Pro, I think, could be justified when it comes to its price. You'll be hard pressed to find a Thunderbolt 3 hard drive with the same speeds and protection that this drive offers. Yes, there are many other brands out there that sell similar drives, but I haven't seen one at the same price and the same level of protection as this. Alternatively, you could go the cheaper route of buying a super fast NVMe SSD and an enclosure. But then again, I don't think that trade-off is worth the lack of protection, not to mention both drives come with a great three-year warranty. And one other gripe I need to point out about these drives are the ports. They don't feel overly secure, and they do wobble quite a bit when you put the cables in. I'd love for it to be a bit more grooved, maybe flush, so I could just push the cable in and then the enclosure itself would lock it in place. You wouldn't want to accidentally unplug these mid-project or transfer, 
because they do come out quite easily. Another notable thing to mention about these hard drives, and working with iPads in general, is the OWC Copy That app. The app is a simple and easy solution for backing up photos and videos from your photo library to your OWC hard drives. All you have to do is plug in your hard drive, open the Copy That app, and then follow the steps. It's super simple and really handy if you're running low on space. And if you have other file types that you're looking to back up, you can simply use the Files app to directly transfer these from your Files app to the hard drive. Overall, they're well-built drives with fantastic speeds that are just let down by being so expensive. So you have to make the choice of choosing to go with the cheaper alternatives with less protection or spend that bit extra for a good warranty and the extra confidence that if you accidentally drop these in a small puddle, they'd be okay. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please let me know in the comments what you think of these drives. I'd also like to thank OWC once again for sending them out to me and supporting the channel because I've been using these for months and I haven't made a video about them yet. If you're not subscribed, please consider it and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It's free and it really helps the channel. And as always, take care.